morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meet Z69. Welcome back to some World of Dummies. Yes, World of Dummies week is upon us. My second week of my holiday. Uh, so you're going to have the next five days of World of Dummies. All different kind of dummies. We've got bad players. We've got trolls. We've got uh, raging kids. Uh, we've got. And we've just got so much dummies for you uh, within these next five days. But we're going to kick it off with just some bad play, some bad decisions, uh, and just why do you do that? Why did you do that? Uh, so we're going to watch the Waffle here. Now, of course, the Waffle is a fantastic tank. It really is a good tank, but it's got no armor. It's got no armor whatsoever, so you shouldn't be able to bounce any shots in this tank. The only time that you can bounce, just like the this and the grill, is when someone shoots HE at you and it hits the top of your gun or it hits the tip of your gun. That's the only time you should really be able to uh, to bounce some shots. Uh, not this game. Not this game. This game, uh, we're going to see some bounces in one of the most OP heavies in tier. 10 at the moment and that is the vk72 now the enemy have a very good team they've got daniel from jones in their team which is a very very good player so it's already not a good sign uh for the green team they're losing hit points here uh and they already uh they're up against it so the 50 tp i mean was there any need for that yes he gets the kill but was it worth it? Was it worth taking that damage to get the kill? Maybe you could say it was because I mean it take it took out a the well a T62 which is a very good tank. Uh, but was it worth it in the end? Maybe not. Um, so now it is a six versus five, a five versus five, uh, and there's still a lot of work to go. And there we go, the T100, kill yourself. There goes the T57, and there is the, that now Daniel. He's in a bit of a sticky situation at the moment. He decided to go forward, and he does unfortunately pay the price. So it's now a three versus four, a three versus four. The 50 TP up there is a one shot. Would he? been a one shot probably not if he wouldn't have uh, used that uh you used that hit points that he lost a bit earlier on and even there he still didn't manage to get the uh, the shot out so uh, unfortunately it's now a th for the red team at least it's now a three versus three but you can see the one two one b there a one shot the two six eight there is getting torn apart uh but they still have um almost a full hit points or three quarter hit point the uh, vk72 so there goes the grill there goes the grill and now the vk is coming around now again as i said about the armor profile there is you should not be able to bounce in this tank especially when it's an ap round and especially when the vk had all the time in the world to aim his shot and he still bounced he's not using the he right now he was using ap and he still managed to bounce not once but twice how can you do that like you've got all the time in the world even if you're running spool liner in the waffle why is not that why is the vk not shooting uh, he he had all the time in the world and he would have shot him twice with he if he would have just aimed because he had all the time in the world and now he's bringing it down to a one versus one just the waffle and the vk left uh now the vk does have to be careful or even though he's, he's still on 706 uh hit points he can potentially take a shot uh but he doesn't know that the waffle is i mean if the waffle's got a max roll loaded he can actually take care of the vk with the next shot now at least the vk is not just rushing in until now and he does get the shot and now he decides to use he and he fails he fails it this vk is like the most unluckiest vk in the world two bounces and a failed he shot cost them the game so well played there from our waffle does get lucky and it should not have happened uh so yeah unfortunately but they do he does get the win uh, and that was actually a ratings game and if you look at the vk there uh yeah i mean 2500 ratings he's got there probably shouldn't be uh playing ratings if i'm honest uh and 
he's not got the best of win rates, but we're not going to talk about his win rate. You know, I've just not long said win rate doesn't matter, etc., uh, etc. Et so moving on to the next game, we've got a smasher. As we know, the smasher is one of the most broken tanks in the game. It's one of the most broken tanks in the game. So if you ever have an opportunity to kill a smasher, make sure you do it. Definitely make sure you you do it, especially if the smasher is a one shot. Don't ignore the smasher. Try and take him out as much as you can, especially as also if you've got enough hit points, because uh, you might have enough hit points to, to take a shot from someone else, but not the smasher. Of course, the smasher has a higher alpha damage. Um, so if you're on like seven, eight hundred, uh, seven, eight hundred hit points, go for the smasher, because if you've got seven hundred hit points, you might be able to take a shot from another tank, like, say, an ARL. You'll be able to take another two shots from the ARL, where you might not be able to take any shots from the smasher. So if the smasher is a one shot and you've got the opportunity to clear the smasher, Make sure you do that. Uh, this game, you, they are, they're not going to do that. <laughs> they're not going to do that at all. So, of course, it is a tier 6 game. The Smasher in tier 6 is just brutal because it can HE a lot of them tanks. Uh, and it just clears them. Like one, a one-shot goodbye back to the garage. So, of course, he is this side. Uh, they've gone to the left side of the map. You can see the minimap. A lot of the team have gone to the right side. So, now this is an opportunity to push these heavies. Now, there's one heavy here that is a one-shot. Just a HE will clear it and the m6 is also a one shot and then it will leave three tanks here against the is2 berlin if they are able to clear the m6 uh, so of course the smasher is looking and he's aiming and hopefully he does clear this m6 the m6 is actually just shot and he has taken a bit of uh, damage now that was an unfortunate bounce there on the m6 and, and again when you're shooting ap in the smasher it isn't the best the penetrations using the ap and then you do struggle to penetrate so you can see here switching to the heat he does get the shot and does get the kill so now he can actually turn back and deal with the berlin if he needs to but the uh, the other side of the map haven't been able to uh, to deal with the medium tanks and now it is a three versus four but he is going to get behind this berlin again a he shot will do but there goes the strv leaving it now against uh, a two versus three and as you can see, the ARL there is on 600 hit points. There's a Leo coming, there's the T-71, and there's a Jackson. All juicy targets, very juicy targets. Now, that was an unfortunate shot. Now, in this situation, when you know that a smasher has shot, you will you just spam him. Spam him because you know he's on a reload. Even if there's two tanks, two of your team, and both of your one-shots, maybe it is worth sacrificing one of you to, to just farm the uh, or, or just to get the kill and especially now especially now the smasher has just shot he's now a one shot watch this leo what is this leo doing what is this leo doing what the hell he's literally just ignored the smasher to go for the arl why he was on 900 hit points. He could kill this smasher very easy because he knows he can kill him. He knows he's on a reload because he just got shot from the smasher. So why did he ignore the smasher? I really do not know what he was thinking. And... <sighs> I mean, the Smasher's only got 1,500 damage. Okay, the Smasher, if the Leo comes out frontally, then yeah, the Smasher might not be able to HE him. He might be able to take a shot and then it will be game over. But why risk that? Why risk that? You had all the, the opportunity in the world to clear the Smasher. And because you didn't clear the Smasher, you now pay the price because you're going to come out sideways and you're going to get wrecked. If you got the opportunity to take out a smasher, one of the OP tank, most OP tanks in the game, take him out because this could happen to you. And he literally, the Leo single-handedly just lost the red team this game. So yeah, take the tanks out, guys. If there's a one shot, take it out. Go for the. If there's two one shots, go for the most dangerous one shot, the most dangerous tank. And then go for the next tank. But, you know, uh, GG. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'm Meadzy69, and I will catch you tomorrow for another World of Dummies. Bye-bye for now.
with the 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 with the